Hello and welcome back to the much anticipated fourth episode of Taskmaster. If you haven't seen the first three videos, what have you been doing? You're really missing out. But lucky for you, all three of them are linked in the description below. If you haven't already, do check them out. What's on the plate for today, you ask? Our contestants have some quite heavy baggage to deal with. This task really gets them to think deeply and find out the key to opening up. Hello. Oh my god. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff on the table, Josh. Oh my gosh, there is so much going on. So I should open this. Ooh, it's short and sweet this time. Find out what's in the suitcase. Hint, there's more than one lock. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. This is the sort of task I like. It's like an escape room. I love escape rooms. Whoa, there's another hint. Oh my God, they just keep going. Yeah, so that intro was just trying to set up me doing some dumb pun. The real task is, as you heard, an escape room style task. Now, the contestants are some really quite smart people. I really had to think about how to make it quite difficult. And so the clues involve some books, some coded pieces of paper, a calculator, and even a pack of cards. First up for their attempt, we have Rhea and Annie. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Clues, cards, books. I feel like I'll start here. I don't know what's going on here. Is it is it like missing cards? Also, where are the locks? Okay, let's check the suitcase first. A to B, A to B. It's gonna be one of those stupid little. I don't know the alphabet. I'm a big escape room fan, so you know this might be pretty fun for me. H I J. Okay, no, it's not that. Uh, one back. T U V. Yeah, it's this. Got it! Wow, okay. But you weren't expecting that. Wow. Expandable suitcase. The hint you are looking for is an O. It's not hit. How dare you? How dare you? What? <laughs> okay. Garbage. Nothing on the task. Some, some letters. A to B, A to B. Some writing. Interesting. I feel like this is just to throw me off. Club Heart Spade. That's, did you draw this, Josh? Yeah. That's fantastic. Was this one below this one? I don't even know what I did. Oh, God's sake. So, Club Heart Spade. I'm gonna do this first. L M N M number. Spade, spade, spade. Diamonds I don't care about. Number of hours in most years is three, six, five days. I better win this. Three, six, five times twenty-four, eight, seven, sixty. Okay, okay. What's missing? Two, three, four, five, six. There's no eight hearts. Four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. There's no nine, Josh. Okay, spade. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. There's no ace. That's a one. Fantastic. Say no more. Should I just do this one too? A to Z. So we're going the other way. Well, to be honest, John, the task says find out what's inside the suitcase. I found out what's inside that suitcase. Number of days in February after Valentine's Day. 15. Oh, this is just a lock with a key in it. Done that. Done that, done that. Okay, we'll move on. Cards, cards I think are done. A to B. Okay, what comes after you? Hmm. These aren't making words, Josh. PD, I'm just gonna write up the whole thing anyway. EFG. That's not a real word. Is this a normal deck of cards? Yeah. Yeah? No. Yeah. They're normal cards. It's not a normal deck, okay. I'm only looking for a three digit code. That's what I have to keep in mind. A7, 16, 15. And then this doesn't sound like it. Well, I think I just have to do this one. I think I know if this works, if this works, I'm a legend. We're missing eight. We're missing nine. Ace, we're missing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! It's it's also three digits. It's not gonna be the same one again. I'll try it anyway. What is going on here with the books? I'm done with this. KLGNO times ten. Plus that, minus that. What is this? What, what are these? KLGNO, that's this. Catty Leap Girls Night Out, that's quite convenient. What's, what's, what's the other ones? PAMJ. Oh, that's PAMJ. Minus this equals code one. That's code one. What's the other one? C-A-J-L-E-R, that's this. Okay, I've got, I've got these three books. 
But what's the numbers? Is these the number of pages? All right, all right. We'll we'll test it. We'll test it. Can't be like the the price, or can it? There's too many numbers in a book, Josh. There's a Sunday, thirteen fifteen. Why do you have these books? Five two five. We'll see. I'm just going by the last number. 157, 387. Are you actually making me do maths? That can't be the case. You've got a calculator. Oh yeah. What's this code for? <laughs> I just have a code now. I have not looked through the books at all. How many do I have to look through? Well, there's a big flat page here with an arrow pointing to this. Okay, we'll, we'll go for this one then. 153. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see what you're doing. 92. Hmm. 83. Okay, just cut out the part where I use the calculator and make it look like I'm doing it in my head. I'm gonna go with 891. Josh, that's not work. Josh equals code 1. Is that is that applicable here? What do you think code 1 might mean? That's a good question. don't know what it might mean. Code 1? Code 1 might mean the first code, which um, you've already done. Wait, there were two ways to get the first code? Yeah. That's that's outrageous. So now I just, I just did two things for no reason. I can't believe you pranked me like this. That's, that's so mean, you know that? P O D W G T. These these words don't make any sense either. Josh, these words don't make any sense. Josh, I feel like I'm. That's, this must be incorrect. Let's go the other way. What comes after? What comes before O? I should bro, just write this. I'm gonna write down the alphabet twice. Number of hours in most years divided by what? Divided by what, Josh? Okay, we're gonna go for this one now. It's the same code. The hint. Oh, I'm getting a hint. You are looking for his. Well, where is it gonna be? It's like a horror movie. It's gonna be like right behind me. Is not. It's not here. Thanks, Josh. That's very convenient. A to Z. So M is N. Okay, 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 okay. I can work with this. Number of hours in most years. That's a lot. 8760 divided by 15. 584. Let's go. I can't believe I did the first lot twice. That's just very mean. You know that. I got this and this. Oh! 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 I didn't read that bit. Okay, fine. Five, eight, four. There you go. Thank God. We got it. Wait, what was that extra task? And here is today's sponsor. Ah, oh, here's actually today's sponsor. A pen. Is this what you wanted? Yeah, I've stopped the clock. Oh, thanks. I must have done that faster than other people. There's no way. Also, what were the books for? But you know what? I got it anyway. I feel like you really, you really slowed me down by looking through the books. Quite a strong showing from Ria and Annie there. If you couldn't quite follow what was going on, I don't blame you. Let me just quickly run through how they solved the puzzle. To complete the task, there were two sets of three digit locks, which our contestants had to find the codes for. Now, given that there were three main sets of clues on the table, that meant that one of the locks had two different sets of clues to open that lock. As we saw in the previous clip, Annie ended up solving all three. For the first lock, contestants could choose either to solve the puzzle using the books or using the cards. For the books, there was a piece of paper with a bunch of letters in a sum. The letters on the page corresponded to the initials of each of the books as they appear on the spine. And if you opened those books, there was a folded page with an arrow pointed towards the page number. If you add and subtract the page numbers, that would give you the code. As for the cards, it was a full deck except there were three cards missing. And there was a piece of paper with three suits on it which corresponded to the order in which you should arrange the missing cards. For the second lot, our contestants had to decode Caesar ciphers. Now these are where the letters are translated according to the codes I wrote on the paper, A to Z and A to B. And this was the encryption code. So in order to decrypt it, they had to go backwards. Two of the pieces of paper led to a sum, which they could type in the calculator to find the code. One of the bits of paper, however, was a bit of a red herring. And that was just for a laugh, really. Once you had both codes, you could open both suitcases to find a water bottle, which they both found, and they both correctly knew to open the water bottles to see that there was also a pen inside. In typical Taskmaster fashion, there was an easy way to get the code as well. Let's play the clip. You know, I've, I've seen the show Taskmaster sometimes, they just hide the clues somewhere. So hidden in one of the books was a piece of paper with both codes written on it. Rhea and Annie had quite fast times, but they didn't find that piece of paper. Let's see if any of the next three contestants can find the easy way out, or will they just get confused by all the clues? What is a to B mean? A to B even mean? A, B, C, D, E, F, or if. Mm, mm. Give up already on that. 
So this one has so many X's in it. There's no, well, the word X was not made to be used. There's some suits. Are these in a particular order? Code one, that's, that's promising. Times by 10, plus this, minus that. Maybe it's like every letter of the alphabet is a number. See, what I initially thought it was, was the hint was gonna have some words and the number of letters in the words was gonna be the thing. The only thing is, is I always forget which of the suits are called which things. This is new, 2023. Ooh, bookmarks. Ooh, there's an arrow down here. I hear, hear. This is pretty violent, what's going on? I tighten my grip and twist, and then it happens, his head comes clean off in my hand. That is something. I swear there was like another... No? So the middle one is heart, which has five letters. I think spade is the black upside down heart with a tail. Club has four, so it could be four, five, five. It could be. I want to deal with this thing. I'm also no folded pooch. Girls night out. Here our... Is there anything in here? There's already two. Here our... It's not 455. <laughs> it could be how many cards in each seat there are in the thing. That would be quite cool. Let's have a quick look. You know what? I've got all the time in the world. It's not like my whole entire self-worth is on the line of this game. <laughs> There's nothing on this page that is useful. Oh, oh, I saw an arrow. Oh, I saw an arrow. 92, that's a number. Yeah. Colour. Here our colour. 83. 153. Okay, I'm going back to this. 12. Okay, so there's clearly one missing in each of the suits. If there's one missing, then the one that's missing will be the number. Um, C, Z, I think is it. That appears to be the case. So, we'll go for that. Am I just really smart? I must be. A to B. Oh. Okay, it helped you out for a second this point. 83, 83 times 10. Well, it's not going backwards to the right letters. Right, so it's the other way around, so... It all comes together now. Ha, 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 ow, ows. 891, that's not going to M, 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 I'm just going to look at them and try and identify what's missing. Make the best. Um. Oh, why am I so smart? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Can these faces still count towards my shot to the faces? <laughs> Find out what's in the suitcase. In the suitcase is in the suitcase, I'm done. What's in that suitcase? That's not, that's not my task. I'm doing extra work here. I'm being late. No other mercy is divided by. Okay, that's the first bit. The next bit is... There's a piece the, of paper underneath. Oh. Uh, with all the hearts and stuff. No, oh, I've got so many of these. Another A to B. Okay. H. E. R. I think you're looking for is not. Oh, 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 funny. Stupid. I'm vomiting this stuff. Oh, yeah. Where's that one? Where's that one? Read that one. Oh, I'm really worried I'm going to have to look at these really crazy A to B ones. A to Z, A to B. A to Z, A to B, A to B. Okay. Oh, gosh. Am I going to have to write out the alphabet? Let's give it a go. So, P, and then the B is actually. <laughs> It's not looking good. <laughs> this will be You've got to be thorough here. It's quad good a word. <laughs> got a shake from behind the camera, so my brain is so tired. Number of hours in most years 
This doesn't make sense, Josh. I just wanted the answer. <laughs> this one's another A to B, so we'll go with that. The hint, the hint before is rubbish. <laughs> That's what I want to say. <laughs> the hint you ate. I didn't remember eating in hint. Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> Four is where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is not. No. Okay. Is it here then? Wait, so A to Z as opposed to A to B. So it's like it's being shifted down instead of up. <gasps> Valentine's Day. We know that one. I don't I think, when is Valentine's Day? Leap. Leap. That's another word. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Leap year. Thursday day, Sunday day, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February, which is 28 days clear and 29 days each leap year. It's 584, but we're missing a thing. We're missing. Oh, is it three? Oh, lovely. 584. Or should it just open? It's not the right code. Where's the other one? Oh, crap. It's insane. I don't know what code one it is. I don't want to do this. This one's just horrible. Ah, king. King? What's L? Is that a number? So where is this combination where there's just a club followed by a heart followed by a spade? Club, heart, spade. Maybe it's the things that I'm missing. Okay. Eight nine one. Let's try. No, why did I open that? Okay, here's the one, and I could. Oh, what was the number? Five eight four. Yeah. What's the actual tablet? Another suitcase, isn't there? Oh, it's just a bottle. Well done. I've stopped the clock. Okay, what a flask, a water bottle. Something inside it. Yes, there's something inside it. There's a oh, water and a pen. Then there's nothing in the pen. Done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I've stopped the clock. For some reason, these wheels to me like turn the wrong way. It's a water bottle. <laughs> oh no, it's better not be a scorpion. Yeah. Well done. I've stopped the clock. This is the wrong way around and this complete waste of time fully regret it 2 out of 10. I enjoyed figuring it out initially and then once I figured it out I did not enjoy it. It was not a fun thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to me it's been like five minutes but you're not going to tell me it's been three years and I'm five years older. I was honestly so disappointed that no one found the shortcut, but I guess they all just stumbled their way towards the answer. Now, I definitely don't think this was perfectly designed. There were some adjustments that I'd have liked to have made. Basically, I should have put the clues for the second suitcase inside of the first oh, suitcase so to make it more streamlined. But let's see how everyone did with some times and some scores. Scores on the doors. Scores, scores on, on the, the doors. doors. So, Annie had 17 minutes and nine seconds. Ooh. That's a low number of seconds. Ravi oh. had 22 minutes oh. and eight seconds. Oh. Ria had 13 minutes. Wow. Oh. And 51 seconds. Oh, and had 21 minutes and 53 oh, seconds. Wow. And Sita had 22 minutes and 39 seconds. There was only one minute between Anj, Ravi and Sita. Rio wins the task with really? five points. Quite a margin clear of the others. I feel like I should have matched your point. No. Really? I won't really? <laughs> Second place is Annie. Third place is Anj. Fourth place is Ravi. And fifth place is Sita. Oh, no. <laughs> Good task. Scoreboard update. Very tight at the top. Ooh. We have a tied first place of Annie and Ria, both yes. on 19. Sita oh. has 18. Wow. And then it's a bit less close. Ravi on 8 and Anj on 13. It's <laughs> Ravi on 8. <laughs> Ria! Yeah. That brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed and remember to like and subscribe. And as has become tradition, let's hear from one of our contestants as to why. 
persuade the viewers to subscribe to Josh's YouTube channel. If you sign up for Josh's YouTube channel, he'll send you a mystery box filled with thousands of pounds worth of goodies. <laughs> you will also get to travel with him to one of the countries yourself. This is all confirmed by Josh and is not 100% not a lie. In general, the videos are well <laughs> edited. Josh is a lovely guy. He's looking for a girlfriend, so for a lady you could try and go by that route. He's got great friends. You need to subscribe to Josh's YouTube channel and give this video a like. And vote for me if there's any voting involved. <laughs> Thank you. There's no voting involved, yep. but... <laughs>